Today from Boat on Course, you'll learn the basics of anchoring your boat. Anchoring your boat is a skill that every boater should master. Confidently knowing how to anchor your boat can be useful for recreational activities and emergency situations. Whether it's the perfect place to stop and safely swim, wrapped up with friends, or cast a line, an anchor can hold your boat steady in a secluded area for a few hours. If your engine fails, a properly set anchor will protect your boat from drifting into a nearby hazard like rocks or shallow ground. Anchors are an essential piece of safety equipment to always have on your boat. And some states require an anchor as a part of your safety gear. Common types of recreational anchors are categorized by their shape and function, and they fall into five major categories. The hook, the plow, the fluke, the claw, and the scoop. Research which anchor is best suited for your boat and the waterways you boat on the most. Anchors are heavy and can cause a man overboard situation, so make sure your life jacket is snug while anchoring. Before lowering the anchor over, let's talk about the anchor line. The line can be all rope, all chain, or more commonly, a combination of both. The chain provides weight, so this combination is most effective. Remember that the wind and current will move your boat around the anchor. Be aware of your surroundings and allow for a 360 degree area for movement. Before lowering the anchor line, ensure that it is free of entanglements. Coil your line and keep it away from your feet. First, secure the end of the anchor line to the bow cleat. Second, you need to estimate the depth of the water. If your boat has a depth finder, that will be the easiest way. If not, refer to your nautical charts. Knowing the water depth will help you decide the correct amount of anchor scope required. The anchor scope is the ratio of the length of anchor line you will want to let out to the depth of the water. A scope ratio of 7 to 1, 7 feet of scope to 1 foot of water depth, is usually recommended. For example, if you know the water depth is 10 feet, you'll need approximately 70 feet of anchor line. Third, there is no need to throw the anchor. It is very heavy. Throwing an anchor can damage the side of your boat. Fourth, double check the coiled rope is away from your gear and your feet and begin slowly letting the anchor line out. When there is wind and current, the boat will drift away from the anchor. Use the anchor scope and also set the anchor. If there is no wind or current, once the anchor is lying on the seafloor, put your boat into reverse idle and slowly stretch out the anchor line from the bow to set the anchor. And fifth, Verify that the anchor is set and not dragging on the bottom. You can sight on two landmarks on shore, or use your electronics such as a GPS, chart plotter, or depth finder to sound an alarm if the boat is moving. If the wind, current, or tide changes and causes the boat to swing over the anchor, it may reset itself on the bottom. If it does not, you'll need to reset the anchor. As repositioning of the boat may occur, be aware of your surroundings and conscious of whether the anchor is still embedded in the seafloor. After you've enjoyed your day on the water, you'll need to reverse these steps to retrieve the anchor. When it's time to retrieve the anchor, slowly motor towards the anchor while pulling in the anchor line. Give yourself enough space and clear of any gear that may get entangled in the line. Once you are directly over the anchor, it should pull free. If it is stuck, first try slowly turning the boat in a large circle to change the direction of pull on the anchor line. An alternate method is to pull up the anchor line until the boat is directly over the anchor, and then give the line a turn around a cleat. Pull it taut as the bow dips in the bottom of a wave, and when the next wave lifts the boat, it may break the anchor free. Remember, never tie off an anchor to the stern of a boat. It's possible to pull the stern low enough to swamp the boat. Water may come over the stern and fill the boat, which results in a very dangerous situation. If you can't release a stuck anchor, it's best to simply cut the line and replace the anchor. The sea floor may have rocks or other debris, and we may occasionally lose an anchor. Don't be embarrassed, it happens to everyone at some point. To recap on anchoring, remember these steps. Check that your life jacket is snug during anchoring. Never tie the anchor line to the stern of the boat. Determine the depth of the water. Let out the correct amount of anchor line based on the scope, which is seven to one. Stay alert to your surroundings and reset the anchor if you're drifting. It's worth saying one more time, never tie an anchor line to the stern of a boat. And remember, if you can't retrieve an anchor, it is safest to cut the line and buy another one. Now that you have the basics of anchoring, go cast a line, swim, or raft up for the day.